So diabetes in an African-American female, maybe a little overweight, may have some hypertension, that's heart disease. That's heart disease. And you know, the reason that I am for the, um, so focused right now on hypertension and high blood pressure is because that in hand in hand with diabetes is really what's causing the kidney disease. If you go to any dialysis center in this country and look and see who's in there, it is people, African Americans. And it's mainly because of the hypertension. We are not taking our, the medications as prescribed. Usually for, to, for you to control blood pressure in an African American woman or man, they need to be on two potentially three medications. And if they're not taking those medications routinely, then their blood pressure goes up. Um, again, lifestyle is real important for high blood pressure control. And even if you lose just 5% of your body weight, you can really make a big, huge difference in your blood pressure. And then the other thing for people of color, I think, minority populations, African Americans um, specifically, is the stress and strain that they have in their daily life. If you're trying to figure out how you're gonna pay rent, if you don't have grocery stores in your area, if it's a high crime area, um, if you're not able to go to your local park because you don't feel it's safe, all of these what we call social determinants of health, all of those are what makes it so difficult for us to treat the chronic diseases like diabetes and, and high blood pressure. You can get more information about the show and our guests at primarycare-tv.com and continue the conversation on Facebook and Twitter.